And to be honest, teenagers deserve to be bared. <laughs> Owl bared. Welcome to the religious podcast. We are changing the whole subject. Uh, welcome to We Do Games. My name is Devin Moon. To my right today. Oh, Lord. Uh, yeah, we changed it up. We changed our uh, seating. <laughs> so now, to my right, not as usual, Sawyer Champagne. Welcome. I am actually in my usual seat. Yeah, okay, but not usual to me. The right part is not usual. Do you... Okay. To my top, top, <laughs> top forward, <laughs> forward frontal region, the man, the man, <laughs> I can't get, I cannot get frontal in front region of out you. of my, thank you. I cannot get you, frontal you region out like of my, every time, I know. every time it's been I, frontal <laughs> main region. I can't get it out of my You're vocabulary. You're just going to have to I keep it there it now as tradition. Yeah, apparently. It's going to always be, Mexico there's going to be this the sexual tension region. between you and me throughout the podcast. So keep it, keep Sawyer, it soft. seats. <laughs> That'll this, really mess with him. This yeah. one's mine. <laughs> I don't want to be the frontal region. <laughs> Welcome, Max. How you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Bueno, bueno, gentlemen. What Boy are we bueno. playing? What are we playing? What are we playing? Sawyer, start us off. What are we playing? So it's been a pretty Nintendo week for me. That, oh yes. <laughs> so it's nice to hear some change coming from your area. I've it's been usually playing Destiny. I've been playing Destiny. <laughs> no, let's not talk about. I've been playing that. Paladins, which they had a, a, their Halloween update come out. Is there a new yesterday? Halloween character, or what's the? Uh, there's a new thing, character, costumes. yeah, but oh, there's, there's new, new costumes. Oh, okay, it's not a Halloween character. He's just a little pirate captain that summons a kraken. Oh, okay, he's cool. Well, cool, yeah, but there's a hell. What what are they doing for Halloween? Uh, you there's some um, in in the matches. Mm-hmm. A random evil bad guy will spawn, and you ha- both teams will fight against him. Cool. That that's all cool. I got. <laughs> cool. Cool. And then you just cool, go cool. about killing each other like normal. So. Okay. Nintendo side. What's up? Uh, Nintendo. Nintendo side? So I ended up getting the Switch Online. Yes. And so. Yes. Mainly for my wife. Oh. Okay. And she played probably. We I played a little bit, but she probably put I don't know ten hours into Doctor Mario. My she loves that gosh, game. Gosh, really. And now I'm gonna have to buy the uh, NES like... controllers when they come out. Oh, really? It's gotten to that. She point. hates the controls. But she loves the game. Okay. That is her. That is her thing. Really? Yeah. Is it? It's like Tetris, isn't it? Basically. Yeah. Or just one of those match. Kind of like color Tetris, game yeah. things. Um, okay. I, I started a new Pokemon playthrough. Okay. Still flying type only. Yeah. It's uh interesting. Is this what Pokemon are we on here? I'm on Ultra Moon. Ultra Moon. So like Generation Two Seven Point Five. Away? Or is that the last one? That's it's, it's the last game. Oh, okay. And then me and Dan were playing some Pokemon Showdown. It's just like online battles where you don't, you could just random battle each other. It's pretty fun. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, but it's been pretty, pretty Nintendo. You played Dragalia? Oh, and Dragalia Lost. Yeah. I've been playing on my phone. Okay. I'm, I'm about three chapters in. Uh huh. This is the new Nintendo phone game, if you it's, didn't. Uh, so it's very chibi anime. Uh-huh. So, so all the cut scenes are anime. Okay. But the gameplay is chibi. Gotcha. It's really annoying because I don't, I'm not a fan of either. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> not the chibi. This um, is a perfect game for you. But it's kind of like, uh, a, it, it's almost a dungeon crawler. Okay. Like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Okay. Have you, where where it's like, you go into the dungeon. I don't know if they're random or not because mm-hmm. I don't go play the same one over again. Yeah, yeah. You kill everyone. You make your way to the boss room. Kill the boss. Next level. Rinse and repeat. Yeah. Story in between. Yeah. I is don't... there a finish to this game? I, or is it a constant? I think there, there's a story. Okay. People are saying it's pretty good. Okay. And you're, and you're saying... <laughs> he hasn't discovered it yet. <laughs> I'm skipping all of them. Uh, uh, there's a skip oh. button on there, and that's that's my first thing I don't want to see the anime scenes. I don't care Come about on, anime these... Their dragons look kind of cool. Little bubbles <laughs> over... <laughs> <laughs> their bubbles the over their is... eyes, or um, whatever the hashtag button. Reddit on their is obsessed face. with one of the characters that everyone thought was a girl who turned out to be a boy. Cool. <laughs> um, Do uh, they like it because it's transgender influence? No, they thought it was a very cute little girl until they read his lore when the game actually came out. Uh-huh. And they're like, oh, well, it's a boy, guys. <laughs> so, surprise. Yep. That, you know. can't say that word. <laughs> You can't say surprise. No, because that <laughs> makes me think of another word. <laughs> surprise. 
Listen, Max, I don't know what's going on in Some your fries? deep, dark mind. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, yes. Uh, yes. It's it's good. Um, I've There's raids out you're, right you're now. You're not very... This doesn't for a sound phone very good. So, so yeah, for just, a phone game. Give me the phone game review. For a phone game. I'd probably give it an eight. An eight. Like, it's pretty good. Great. But there's, like, raids that just came good out job, as an yeah. event. Yeah. But you have to be, like, 8,000 gear score for Okay, and you're like I'm two? like 2,500 gear score, so <laughs> okay. I'm not. Even, uh, maybe, you got a while. Yeah, I'm, it's just it's like not Destiny. Happening. Oh man, <laughs> the grind. Never, is never everywhere. gonna get there. You know, never gonna get there. Well, <laughs> one day, one day. Max, what are you playing? Oh, let's see. Um, I've been playing some classic um, Divinity Original Sin. Nice, the original, right? Uh, yeah, the first one. Yeah. Um, very. The only gripe I have about it. Is your characters run so slow? <laughs> it is really annoying. In between everything. You're yeah. just like, I hate... we've got nowhere to be. <laughs> and you're just like, no, I want to be able to run. Yeah. Like, I get combat slows it down, but because but... of the turn base. But... Yeah. But the normal walk. I've been co oping it with my brother. Okay. Which is a little weird. PC, Xbox? Xbox. Xbox? Okay. Yeah. It was 10 bucks, so we're just like, pick it up. So we'll play through it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I've been playing that. Why is it weird playing with your brother? What's wrong with you? It's weird playing co-op. Yeah, on that game. On that game. Why? Because it's kind of turn-based. Oh. So when you get into the fight oh, scene. that's weird. So yeah, eat, when you're in the world map, you each control, you can go do whatever you want. But yeah. in a fight, it's very slow and very... Does one person pick and the other person picks? Like, so you have, so it's two characters. Uh-huh. And <clears throat> you get like other people in your party that you can control as well gotcha but yeah so basically one character will go there'll be there's a like a line like a bar on top yeah yeah yeah. there's an order of who goes and so you can be like okay this enemy goes then i go then the other co-op guy goes okay so forth but yeah you just while they're attacking you can't move or anything huh so you're kind of just like yeah it's kind of weird to co-op yeah it sounds interesting Hmm. we're enjoying it Cool. And then the other monster that I don't, I've already sunk a lot of time into. Is this going to be an embarrassing game? No, no, no. Come Assassin's on, get Creed Odyssey. Oh, okay. Well, that's Ooh. fine. Whoa. Yeah. I didn't know we'd actually have someone playing a new game. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, it, everybody, we play it, new games. Gosh it darn it. come out today? We're like ahead of schedule. Oh. Yeah. So I pre-ordered it and got it early. Did you get the $200 one? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> See, now. Are you playing dirty, dude? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> it got me the game early, okay? <laughs> That's all I wanted. Okay. For, all right. From what I'm hearing. I hear it's good. It's, is this one of the better ones? So it's probably the best one. Best. Yeah. I mean, I thought um, Origins, you know, completely outclassed most the of the other Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Just because of the improvements they made. <clears throat> this one is better than Origins. They've taken a few things out but yeah. they've added so much more in really um hmm. i just wish your ship was faster <laughs> again i feel like <laughs> mexico has a couple developers. complaints guys speed it up speed game it developers up. listen to mexico he wants to be able to get point a point b in without, a timely fashion without uh, fast us, traveling everywhere because yeah. sometimes fast traveling i don't want to sit through that load screen yeah us millennials we want to go quick we want to go quick. And I'm Ricky Bobby. <laughs> I want to go fast. Yeah. Shake and bake. Shake, Shake and bake. And bake. And like, so combat wise, story wise. Combat wise, it's pretty much exactly the same as the Origins. Origins. Mm-hmm. They have. Uh, Does that have a trigger fighting system? Yeah. Like a Like a God of War right trigger. Right trigger. And, and then, uh, the uh, above it. RB. RB, button, whatever it is. Yeah. Right bumper. Uh huh. Button. Yeah. So that's how it is. Okay. But this one, they do give you more attack options. So oh, you right. have a couple of power attacks with your sword mm-hmm. or, you know, whatever weapon you have and your bow. Oh. Um, which they didn't have in the last one, which yeah. is kind of cool. It makes it more RPG ish. Cool. Because that's how they were going with, you know, your, yeah, with... there's not, and as far as the choices go, they do impact things. Yeah. But it's not like. I hear it's huge, like super long, like 80, o- 80 hours or I mean, something. Like I'm like maybe from over, 50 to 80. Yeah. yeah, I'm maybe over 20. Wow. Because that's crazy because when I played Assassin's Creed, which was like Assassin's Creed 2, you could beat the whole game in like 20 hours. Yeah, and I'm about 30%. Wow. Because this one. That's intense, man. Yeah. I mean, just a lot of stuff to do. Yeah. 
visually visuals visuals it's same not too same. much of an upgrade from the last one but yeah. it is but there's like small details that aren't in this one that were in the last one that i kind of liked okay like the main character bayek in the last one when you're walking through tall grass he'd kind of just stick his arm out and like touch oh, the like grass touch it. Oh. or you could uh kneel down and if a cat was around you he'd pet it and there's okay. a certain so little certain stuff like that details. not in this one okay so far but you know that's not not gonna if that's break my only the game. Gripe. yeah yeah I mean, but yeah, it it's been it's been good. Score, my friend. Give it a score. Oh, definitely an eight, maybe eight point five. Eight point five. Yeah, man, you guys are rough scores. Well, I don't. You can't you won't do give it. A, you won't give it a nine. You won't give it up to the nine. Fine, still I'll yet? give it a nine. You don't have to. <laughs> I mean, I'm enjoying it. I'm just saying. He's not far enough in to give it, you know, that bump up to the, the nine bump yet. up to the nine. That's how because, I was you know with Spider Man. <laughs> That's a good with, point. With everything, I wish they would leave the alien stuff out. Oh, are they still doing this stuff, this nonsense? So they're still doing, like, the precursor race. Oh, my gosh. But... So they're still doing, the like, the insane backstory that has nothing to do with the characters. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe they're still carrying on with that. Abstergo. I would have given it up. Woo! Abster- well, they are in this one, but it's not... You're not... <laughs> I mean, this is before Assassins. Yeah, before So you're others. just a mercenary. There's no Templars. I mean, there's, there's a cult you're killing, and there's, like... Like maybe forty targets that to hunt down and find clues for in this uh-huh. cult, which yeah. is kind of cool. Yeah, that sounds cool. Well, I mean, it's this not. is the one that I think I might get, but I think I'm going to get it on like the Ubisoft sale that always comes out like yeah. around uh, February. Yeah, so I'll probably get it for like thirty dollars. That's what I'm probably going to get Origins for like fifteen bucks. Origins, yeah, it's going to be super cheap. This one uh, interests me more than Origins. I think I just like the setting. I like, I like the... Greek more than I like. Egypt, but I just funny. like the the RPG elements. Yeah, that are heavier in this one than they were in the last one. Yeah, it seems like they're getting into a more of a Witcher kind of little uh, bit realm, but still keeping that Assassin's Creed flavor. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I wonder because they're skipping another year, so I wonder if the next one's going to even be heavier on the RPGs. Seems like they're. I think it's a good choice. Getting there, yeah. I think they needed to do something to get that series. Yeah. Go little fire. Yeah. I'm I'm enjoying the break in between games. Yeah, me yeah. too. Don't have to talk about them every year. That's I'm great. hoping they they not move it to like skip a year, then two years, and then skip another year. I'm hoping it's er, like every other year. Every each. other year. Yeah. So give each one like three I years think they, to develop. Yeah, I think they were trying to test the waters, and it seemed like they were like, well, maybe we can't annualize it again because I think because last year it was Origin, so there was only yeah, it wasn't it's not that old. Yeah. So, uh, I've been playing uh, Tomb Raider. Uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I I have a mixed feelings about this one. I love the Tomb Raider games, but this one is just killing me. I just it's really janky, like more janky than the other ones. Especially, it's very it's a lot more tomb heavy and puzzle heavy and very traversal heavy yes. compared to the other ones. Way more like there's way less action than Rise. Yeah, way less. It's crazy how much less. I I heard it in the other reviews that. But I didn't realize that it yeah. was that much, and, and uh, it is very slow paced. Yeah, the, the pace pacing the pacing's a little strange. Exploration and fighting. Yeah, there are a couple tombs that have enemies in them. Yeah, yeah, the so. tombs are good. I think the tombs are probably the, some of the best. I just think like the traversal is a little janky. Like if I was playing that super hard mode that you were talking about last week. When you fall off a cliff, some of those things are not due to you at all. It's totally due to the game. That's why I'm just like, I can't I yeah. can't get past the first yeah. part of the game on that hard difficulty. Yeah, because there's... Because I'll do a jump, yeah. and then something stupid will happen. I'm like, that's not... Yeah, that's not what I did. And it's so... That that it didn't happen so much in Rise. Or even on the first one. Like, there's just moments there I'm just like, well, I'm pointing this way. And she just shoots off total other direction and falls off a cliff i've died so many random deaths in this and it's you can just tell it's not from that developer just because the quality is just a little jankier and there's something else that bugs me is that i love the bow and arrow in the tomb raider games but this tomb raider the bow and arrow is just kind of it's not as useful it's almost like the Halo 1 pistol, when you all you wanted to do is use the Halo 1 pistol most of the time, and the, the assault rifle, and that's it. Uh, in this, you don't want... they change, And then they changed it in Halo 2 because everyone was only using one gun, right? The same thing I feel like they they realized in Tomb Raider, they were like, oh, well, 
everyone uses the bow. That's all they use is the bow. At least that's what all, all I used in all, both the Tomb Raiders. I never touched the other guns. Yeah, and in this one, all and, I used was my knife. And this one, yeah, and this I one, I never, <laughs> I never shot a single man because in that the game. stealth is really good. That's the best part about the change here. But like when it gets into action, it's kind of clunky. It's kind of the movement is not as fluid. And so when you're shooting with the bow, you can't get headshots as easily. And you get them in the chest a lot, for me at least. You can do that zoom thing and even, yeah. and it like auto targets. But even that is janky and it doesn't like grab on the head sometimes. And so there's just like these little things that it's, it's just this jankiness that I, I don't think it goes up to, to rise. I still enjoy it. I think it's getting better where I'm at. I'm like at the 60%. And uh, it's starting to pick up. The speed's getting better. And now that I realize they want me to use the other weapons, like the assault rifle, like, kills dudes in, like, two seconds. Yeah. Like, one shot, two shot. So, and then in the other Tomb Raider game, you would, like, hold it forever to actually kill. And, that, and those, ga- those guns were worthless. So I see what they're doing, trying to switch it. It's just kind of a bummer. Because it bummed me out when Halo, they changed the pistol. And it's the same thing here. Can we not talk about that? Yeah, see? And you it's said the, it like three, sorry, four times. Sorry, it's the same thing like, here. I just, it's still an it open wound. Me, it bums me out. With At the, least Halo 5 brought the pistol back. Yeah. In multiplayer. Yeah, but this is what's kind of bumming Third me out things. with the Tomb Raider thing. But it's fine. It's a good game. I would give it an 8-ish. Yeah. I'd give the other ones like a 9. Uh, probably an 8-5 for the first one. So, um, yeah. That's a lot of gamage. Guys, let's get into the news. Um, first off, Valve is, or Valve, the owners of Steam. If you didn't know, Steam has tons of tons and tons of crappy games, and apparently they've decided to take at least 179 of these games that are definitely like uh, gotcha games, like fake games. Uh, so the games that they, some of the games that they took off is Logan vs. KSI. Mariko, the hot nightlife max oh yeah uh, that's why i got my steam account in the first place yeah <laughs> rich life simulator vr oh, so man, if you that's... wanted a, that rich life uh, now how am i gonna feel being poor all the time i don't have to i i don't yeah. get a simulator rich life i don't trump life is next uh make border <laughs> speaking of make border great again Whatever that's about. <laughs> Is that why you were talking about Trump? Because you, well, no, <laughs> you read the line down and yeah. like, Trump, border, walls, well, <laughs> Mexicans. <laughs> yep. And then it's a, uh, yeah. So all these games are basically just like the trash of the trash. They're all games that are basically either making fun of people or are just nasty or <laughs> are totally buggy, hey. buggy trash hey. that you're trying to get an extra buck for. Nasty is a mean hey, word. No, <laughs> Sorry, Max, you're not nasty. We don't kink shame here. Yeah, no, <laughs> never. Uh, so, <laughs> apparently Steam does. Apparently Steam does. So what do you guys think of, like, these types of type of games? Like, how do we, like... Is it okay that there are... Everyone's a developer now, and they can make any game they want and just toss it on any platform and get money for it and, like screw people over that are unknowing are these people unknowing anyways that's my question for you guys what do you guys think is it worth it these kind of games should we like should steam say no to certain things should there be a no yes yes i mean considering a lot of the stuff that got put on there recently including extremely racist and say the school shooter game and stuff like that Steam should have a quality control. Yeah. And they need to take as much off as they can to make room for Half-Life 3. Yeah, that's a good point. We need a really big Half-Life 3 game. Uh, (laughs) It's not going to happen. At least 10 years old. Uh, I've waited longer. (laughs) Mex, what about you? What do you think? Um, Like, should there be a no or? Yes and no, because like you do, you got to have some sort of standard, some line that you're just like, we're not, because you own a company. Yeah. If you're putting stuff out, even if you didn't create that content, it still reflects either poorly, poorly yeah. on you or it could. Mm-hmm. And from a legal standpoint, I don't think they want that. I know there's been, with some of the games they put on there, huge legal issues with, you know, certain parties involved in the process of making games. Yeah. And I... 
It reminds me of the whole YouTube thing where they're like taking down certain right wing stuff that they don't like totally agree with. I can see that the issue being like everyone should have free speech. You know, everyone should be like, oh, I, I want to make the game about killing kids in a school because we're in America. However, okay, then go uh, start your own company. Yeah, and but however, sell it on your own website. You are, yeah. However, you're you are like participating in a platform. Yeah, that's owned by a, a company that I'm sure doesn't believe in killing kids. Yeah, you know. Uh, so yeah, I see the issue there. You know, the other issue is just quality and control in general. There's lots of games that are gotcha games, or that's just basically gambling. There's like all these just there's just a bloat like thousands and thousands of games like especially that go on steam steam doesn't have that mer- many good games when you see like their list of games there's what like there's a decent amount like 50 good ones and then what like thousands and thousands and thousands of bad ones and it's it's not great yeah. and i don't know i don't know i see for them it doesn't matter cuz you make money off those people You know, and that's the thing with like, I know people complain like, hey, PlayStation and Xbox, why don't you just say, hey, we don't want your crappy games. We only want a select few games that you guys pre-tested and you think is up to the standard of PlayStation. These are the best games, you know, and these are the only games that will be on our indie site instead of all these crap games. And I see that point, but Sony doesn't care because they're making money like even from the bad games. Like if someone buys one purchase of, I don't know, one of these awful games, Rich Life Simulator VR, you know, if one person buys that, that's money to PlayStation. What do they care? Like they didn't have to pay for this random developer to make this game. They're just the service, you know. So I see the issue. I, I'm i glad that I think you should get rid of the slime. Do you guys think they should get rid of the bad like just there should be like the the games that suck. N- no, no. Everyone should make a game. I think indie developers need a chance to put their game out and to let it fail. But is it too many games though? Like it's just too high of a market. It's like us on YouTube. No one sees us. That Steam's much, really. already saturated. Yeah. So I mean, if they're giving the indie developers to take a chance and maybe in a you know once in a blue moon get an opportunity to be big yeah let the indie developers do that they're gonna get buried yeah but i mean they gotta at least be able to shoot their shot you know yeah maybe they just should work better with indies like nintendo is trying to do that you they pick out the ones that they think is best and then they they let it out. They're they're being a little too liberal on that one too. <laughs> well, they do let out a whole bunch of bad ones and also sexy games too. But the thing is, is like oh, weird ones. <laughs> yeah, scrolling through that <laughs> library on the Switch, you're like, the yeah. heck is yeah. this? You're crap? Like, this ain't my old Nintendo. So they they do do that too, but they do have like those Nindy events. Lots of them, at least two or three a year, where they show. These are the best. And those are the ones that I remember, the ones that they advertised yeah. to me. So maybe they should, the Xbox and the others, they do do that, but they're like quick highlight reels that you're like, what game was that? Out of like 50 games that they show at E3. And you're like, oh yeah, there's that one with the little dinosaur that looked fun. I remember that kind of, not really. So I feel like maybe the Xbox and PlayStation can advertise better and maybe that's a way to work it through. But I don't know kind of nasty it's a sad crazy weird world out there people yeah. thousands of people that don't get are all trying to Steam. shove through the same door don't yeah. rip people off if you're creating video games either seriously and i don't know how standards <laughs> i don't know who's dumb enough to buy these games because usually when people get rough, ripped off it's like grandma and she doesn't actually know how to play or, or use the internet and she's like oh my gosh i got screwed over but like most gamers are like yeah, they're tech they're technically savvy Wants those and stuff. I don't eight know. year olds getting on. Yeah, maybe. Steve. Yeah, Hold maybe on. this game looks stuff. awesome. I'm, I'm more interested in how they have a VR headset and they don't feel that they're a little bit better <laughs> off than everyone else in the first place. I can't afford that crap. Well, yeah, 
And they made they and made they the, need a, well, a rich person simulator for VR. You are stuck on this rich person thing. Okay, it's you're it's a, a little. You're, I kind of want to see it. <laughs> I kind of. I wish I had a VR well, headset. Well, guess so I what? Can do it's it. off Steam now. Okay, it's over now. I know. I lost my chance. Yeah, it's done. You're poor, and you always will be, and you always will know that because of the VR. But I don't get a simulator. You will never different. get it. You will never get it. Okay, <laughs> go. Stop it, man. So, next story. PlayStation is skipping the PSX this year. Uh, So, PSX is their uh, yearly-ish announced event where they uh, show upcoming video games. They kind of show what's coming out in the next couple months or year. Uh, Sometimes they show new games. It's like a cool thing for PlayStation lovers, basically. But this year, they're skipping it. The reason for that is because... Uh, there's not enough content. At least that's what they're saying. So, so my question to you guys, do we know the end game? Like, there's no more surprises. This is the end game. We know the games that are coming out for PlayStation. Like, Death Stranding. Uh, we got Last of Us 2. Uh, and then we got the, the Samurai game. I can't remember. There's two of them. Ghosts of... Ghosts of Shishima. Yeah, Shishima. Yeah. That's the one that's PlayStation exclusive. The other one is Sekiro that's stuck yeah. in my head. So, um, is that it? Three games-ish? I think there's also Dreams and maybe a couple others. Well, well, here's the thing. Does PlayStation have anything else that did not come out this year or last year? Anything else that didn't come out this year or last year? Out of all of their IPs yeah. that they own, do they have anything else? They have released everything and they take four to five years to develop it that's all. a good point they have released most of their stuff i mean there's some old games they could put on there like resistance and stuff but none of those have actually seen the late light of day for ever so it could be that those are just done you know and there's tons of other ips that they've had in the past that haven't shown up but i don't yeah from i think it might that might be it they, like, they've released is, everything yeah, which isn't be. a bad end no, it isn't a bad end. Those games would, I think, are going to be really good. You got, um, yeah. What's the uh, of... zombie one? The Last, uh, of La- Last of Us. No, two. no, no, no. Which one? There's a new. I'm pretty sure it was a PlayStation oh, like exclusive. Dead by Daylight or uh, what's it called? Is it like a oh, the first kind of person? The, the biker guy. Oh yeah, yeah. That is another one. Um, I can't. Days Gone. Mm, I think that's. I... Mm, Days yeah. Gone is an exclusive. Is it, it? I think it might be. Days Gone sounds It's one like. of those. So yeah, they have a couple. Yeah. So there's that one too that's coming out next year. I know that at least a few of those will be next year. I think Last of Us 2 will be, Days Gone will be, and okay. then maybe Dreams, which has been like floating in the random world forever. Either. I feel like the last two that we'll see is probably going to be um, the, oh, and the Samurai game, I bet, might be next year too. It looked pretty done mm-hmm. from the demo that I saw. Um, I would say, what is Death Stranding? I think will be one of the last ones, and that might be just the last game on twenty twenty. Do you hate Norman Reedus too? Why would I hate Norman Reedus? I don't know. You just hate a lot of popular hate, people. Yeah. So. No, I hate one. <laughs> Nathan Fillion. Yeah, Nathan. Uh, that's it. I that's you it. More. Uh, you seem to hate. Everything. You seem to hate a lot of things. No, I so. just hate Norman. Or not Norman. <laughs> Dang it. Got you. Nathan. I just got him. Got him. So I think we might be seeing the end game. And I also think we or probably it shows that, well, if they're not making any more than the games that we've seen, PlayStation 5 is next, right? Yeah. Like if they're not showing anything, then they're saving their hand for PlayStation 5. They want some good, you know, they're holding off to have some good games to start with, hopefully, you know, hopefully not the trash. Hopefully they have like a switch. What a <laughs> console is not launched without the trash? <laughs> well, I, it's the switch was the only one that I can think of. There was a lot of trash, but Zelda was in there. A lot of the Nintendo ones, actually. Zeldas and Mario's usually launch with those games. I don't know. I think we're at the end game. (laughs) Which is better than the Xbox's end game, which is... What what's what the, is the Xbox? Ending? What's a new game? New Halo. <laughs> what's the new game Halo. they haven't <laughs> showed? The Year's Five. Post twenty sixteen, everything we are seeing is pretty much been announced yeah. for years. We've seen it for a long time. Yeah. Other than you know, Ghost of Shishima, it's just yeah, yeah, that yeah. one. <laughs> yeah, Ghost of Salami. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah. So that is my issue that we have seen these games for so long. 
And that kind of annoys me that there's no more, maybe no more surprises. I'm not going to say that's no more, no more. There might be one more in their basket, but... Gotcha! Yeah, but I don't know. Maybe they're just me, working it's... really, really hard on those name changes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oof. That name tag change hmm. is coming someday. That's the rumor, guys, again, that it's coming. Uh, so, I don't know. Yeah, I make, I make, when you have your PlayStation 5, you'll have, you can change your name. Uh, so I'm excited for those games. I'm excited. Watch, you still not be able to do it. <laughs> I'm excited for the 10. end. Yeah. I'm excited for the end, but whatever. You know, I don't know. I think it's kind of an interesting point for me right now that if there's no more surprises, well, I guess Xbox will give me the surprises I need, hopefully. We'll see. Xbox is... They haven't they yet. They've got to have something but up their sleeve. I hope there's something. They, they've they had stuff up their sleeve, and they've they've brought them out. They're just kind of... They're just like They're like sevens. a 7 on yeah, a 10 instead like of the 8s really, or 9s yeah. that, you know, PlayStation like is checking. Like core where you can... That was pretty cool. Yeah, but still 7. It just got boring. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool, but boring. Great review. Like a, a more boring version of um, Zero Dawn. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Combat's <laughs> just repetitive. Yeah. What's not what's not that bad? Let's not go, uh, no more boring games. <laughs> Record ten out of ten. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, yeah, I got to give it a nine because <laughs> De- Devin says we don't give nine. So nine out of ten. Yeah, we boring. haven't done it. We haven't done one. <laughs> I gave a nine on <laughs> I'm, just I'm sorry, and I did it for Spider Man eventually. Eventually, uh, I don't give nines. God. <laughs> Nintendo Switch maybe getting ten out of ten. A- well, yeah, obviously <laughs> eight out of ten. <laughs> Yeah, closer. <laughs> Nintendo Switch may be getting a revision, according to the Wall Street Journal of Japan. So far, with the rumor, it sh- says there's going to be a nicer display. That's as far as we've gone. So we're thinking like... Uh, and also, they said something maybe possibly like a better battery life. So maybe like a 1080 screen instead of 720 with a better battery life. Yeah, battery life. If not, they bump it up to a 1080, blast. they're not going to have better battery life. Unless they just find a way to make it run more battery technology easier. isn't evolving like the like rest the rest technology yeah is. that's true so what do you guys want to see from a re- so the, the rumor also is that it's going to be in 2019 so next year does that bug you guys that there's already a nintendo revision especially for us like first day years yeah bug you a little bit yeah but one thing i wouldn't mind them adding is i they've done the cloud storage yeah which is fine yeah but I, I, we need more memory. I'm sick of buying hard copies of my games. <laughs> yeah. Although memory is cheap to buy, the SD and stuff. Yeah. But why am I buying a micro SD card when your system should have a hard drive? That's a good point. It is very low. Like, it's it like, is. Yeah, why can't I just hook up my, you know, four terabyte, <laughs> just plug it in and, and keep it on there? Boom. Got Switch games on there. Yeah, that'd be cool. Doesn't sound like Nintendo at all, but that would be cool. I feel like, what do you like? What do you want to see from it? I want them, the handheld, leave oh. alone. <laughs> yeah, I want, I want the dock upgrade. I want them to make because they have the potential in the dock to upscale. Yeah, I want to see four K thirty frame potential. Yeah. I'm not asking for sixty, just thirty. Yeah. but this is a lot asking Nintendo. Do you remember when um, it first came out that they? had that rumor where the dock would be more powerful mm-hmm. like it would actually have something in it rather than just nothing i don't think there's anything in the dock except it upscales that it, a little bit yeah well it upscales but the dock itself doesn't do anything right except give it more power more juice to upscale yeah. yeah so i feel like if they could do something to 4k it or like put something in the dock you know make that bad boy a little heavier put something in it that'd be a cool like, like an ethernet port yeah that would be nice where do <laughs> where was that <laughs> Oh, it doesn't matter. Our, the internet sucks that bad. Uh, I think, uh, for me, I think... Do, would you guys like a smaller Switch? You no. fine with that size? I'm happy with the size it is. Some people hate the size. But uh, but for my hands, I don't, I don't think the controller is going to get smaller for me. Yeah. Well, how big is the Pro Controller? It's not that. It's normal. Yeah. Yeah, it's normal. Yeah. Just the size of the Switch itself. You know, because Nintendo's known f- for doing these iterations. They've had tons, tons. You were talking, we were talking before, and there was at least 10, probably more, of Game Boys and all the, their yeah. handhelds getting revised. Uh, usually it's better display. So and my assumption would be that this is going to have 
they don't want to fracture the market just like they did with the 3ds they made it the bigger one more powerful and you could play some games on it it was like three yeah but it was three so i don't know if they want to fracture the market so it's to the point like oh guess what mine is so good it can do this you know i don't know will it be like the xbox one x compared to the xbox one or are we just looking at a it's Nintendo. They're not going that far. Well, yeah, obviously. We're but you know, a... like an update that it's closer to the Xbox One rather than a 360. You I see what I'm saying? I think Nintendo's getting spooked. Yeah. They released their Switch a little earlier than everyone else announced their well, later. New... Well, no, they're earlier. Earlier. Well, earlier. This is and their later. next yeah, gen. Yeah, yeah. And so now that the rumors are coming out, Xbox is working on theirs, PlayStation's working on theirs, Switch isn't even as powerful as current gen for those. And when that happens, that is gonna that is gonna be a rough one. When those consoles start, I think it'll take a year or two for those consoles to be any even worth anything. That's usually what it takes. The lifespan, like the first couple, like the first year of a console is not great. It's set, you still have like a mix of the old and the new. So I feel like they have at least three years, maybe, of good Switch life, which isn't bad. That means that's a five-year console, and maybe on the third year, they can uh, make a change. You know what I mean? See, I'm actually, I don't actually hate the idea of getting an upgraded Switch, though. Yeah. Like, I don't feel, no, because I'll actually have a reason to convince my wife to buy another Switch. There you go. Because right now, she will not. We have to share. Okay. And I don't want to. See, that's what, for you, it works, because you have someone that wants one anyways. But for me, I'm like, well, yeah, I'm not hating the one that I have. If this thing is super cool looking and there's something that draws me in, but I don't know what would draw me away that Nintendo would do. Like, it's already, I don't think I need a 1080p screen on that tiny screen. I mean, yeah. what is it going to do? Make it barely clear to my visible eye it's already like 720 it's 720 i'm okay with a 480 yeah i mean well with that small of a screen i can't you won't even tell so much the difference they need a better quality screen they don't need to up res yeah the yeah they could use a better quality a better battery battery life would be nice but even that doesn't bug me so much i don't play my switch long enough I think mine's been docked about 98% of the time I've had it. Really? You're a doc. I play it on the go exclusively now. I used to not, but now I do. So I just, I don't know what will draw me. I'm, I, yeah, I don't know. I yeah. Don't know. I, I wouldn't see a reason to. Yeah. It. Me either. I can see just to get more money and maybe get lower the switch, the old switch and that way and they just i think nintendo loves the apple model the iphone model they like to announce games right on that day just like apple does they like to just kind of do it every couple years do a revision of their model my my other question is do you guys think nintendo is ever going to make another system other than the switch yeah what would it be how do you how do you beat the switch I think they're, I don't know, they're already experimenting with those, uh, the cardboard things. Well. Nintendo's always doing something weird. I think they, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> so there's, they're, they're always have goofy, but I wonder, have they found their iPhone? Like, is this, like, how do you get better than the Switch? Like, you can you make. You put a lot better hardware in it. Yeah, I know. But that's what I'm saying. Just an iteration, like Switch 1, Switch 2, Switch 3, 4, 5, and just keep the Switch line. Just forever, just like an iPhone, you just upgrade the vi- you upgrade the thing every five four years to keep up with the other consoles, and you just stay the switch. Like it's a console that goes everywhere. It's got the handheld market, and you have the console market. The only issue I could see is that they don't keep their popularity because they can't keep up visually, and that's my only issue I could see with that. So I don't know. I I don't see where how you beat the switch. Streaming services. Yeah. No. They're already doing it in Japan. Dude, heck, don't do this. This me. is their next consoles. They're just gonna work on streaming, and it's gonna be Xbox is working on it too. They already announced it. PlayStation's <laughs> gonna. Well, the PlayStation tried. They now decided you can download it. <laughs> yeah. Instead of just streaming it. So I think that's where it's gonna go, though. Yeah, it could be. I just think nintendo loves making consoles so much and making things making toys making that kind of 
thing you can grab. So maybe not. And they're so far behind. <laughs> so far behind. Yeah. I, I think streaming is, yeah, you years can, and years and years. You can stream Odyssey. Yeah. In Japan. Yeah, and you can stream other games also. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I don't. I don't think we're ready yet. But I don't know. We'll see. Uh, leaked footage of a new Harry Potter action RPG game has been floating around. Uh, have you guys seen it at all? Any footage of it at all? Yeah. Like it came up for like two seconds and then they had to like get rid of it. I've seen very poor quality GIFs. Yeah. But that's it. I've seen it barely. <laughs> I think I saw like the first minute. I think it was only a minute. So I probably saw like most of it. Um, have you seen it at all, Max? I just read an article on it. It looks really cool. It looks good. Yeah, so, for a Harry Potter game? It looks it's really good. It's about time for yeah. them to make a decent Harry Potter yeah, game. Yeah, it doesn't look like the movie licenses that we remember from the Xbox 360 and all those oh. kind of era where it was kind of like, yikes, what am I playing? It feels like Arkham After games, like the like the recent Spider-Man, like the Batman games, yeah. like the more recent licensed games. That's what it looks like. Uh, the action looks kind of cool. It's got like shooting mechanics, like where you're pointing and like things are blowing up, like pillars are blowing up and you're like skewering like little dwarf orc things. I'm sure they have a Harry Potter name. Uh, Dobies? <laughs> no, no, no. We, <laughs> hey, we ain't screw. Do be free now. <laughs> yeah, he's free from this mortal realm. <laughs> he did now. Yeah, he, he died already in the Harry Potter movie, but he's dead again. Uh, so I'm, I'm, see, I'm not a pothead. I don't know these things. I like Harry Potter. Are you guys? I like the do you universe. Like Harry Potter, and yeah. it would be no. a good RPG universe. Like how many good, like I think it's kind perfect of fantasy games. wizarding games. Yeah, are I think there? it's not many. Yeah, where especially when you're just the wizard and that's it. Yeah, like I can't even think of any. I know there's ones where you can be, you know, a warlocky thing. Yeah. You know, or you decide to do magic as your way instead of action but just uh i think this game like the world lends itself to it you know you got a castle and a world already built around you can learn through classes and stuff like that you have separation of classes already like Har- um gryffindor and slytherin and all yeah. that stuff so it kind of gives you a little rpg kind of thing going like my only issue is it doesn't seem like this is a Harry Potter game. It's in the Wizarding World, whatever that universe is. So it looked like you created your own character or actually did. I think there was a create your own character menu thing. So it's definitely RPG ish in that way. So I, my only issue would be like, what's this story arc for this? I would, wouldn't really want a game. That's just, Oh look, I'm in a castle and how fun, you know, for me, I love stories in video games. That's what like pushes me and drives me to play them. So I would like I don't know who the big bad would be. Like who's our Voldemort? Yeah. Like what's going on in this world? Like where does it belong in this whole story? Anyways. Yeah, because I don't think it's gonna be something that they're drawing anything from the books. Yeah, other than as like a, a story. The element. creatures and the yeah. setting. I think they said you come in as like a year five wizard. Okay. So you're not any of the main characters of the books or anything. Yeah. This is... So I wonder, is it even in, like... Is this Vol- is the Potter world. Yeah. But without the Potter. Like, they'll yeah, probably Potter. have the Easter references eggs and to the references. Yeah. And... But this looks, kind of excites me, especially that the gameplay looked good, which is amazing. Uh, which What's strange, I think this game is done by Avalanche Studios, but it's not the Avalanche guys that we all know that do the Just Cause games. It's the guys that made... That are like in Utah that I think got closed uh, and they made the Toys to Life games like the Disney games, Disney Infinity games, apparently. So that that pedigree kind of worries me. <laughs> that Those Disney games are pretty fun. They are fun, but they are not they are not known for their quality. Just like just like the Tomb Raider thing. You can tell when games aren't. They're not Uncharted quality. There's not like Naughty Dog quality. They're just kind of janky. Those Disney games had a lot of moments where you're like, eh. I'm sad you compared it to Uncharted because I remember about 45 minutes of trying to jump on a stupid rope in Uncharted <laughs> and it never did. Listen, 
<laughs> just because you hate that game. That is janky as all get out. Just because you suck. <laughs> you can't go on ropes that don't swing, Soy. That one you were supposed to... I watched tutorials on how to freaking do this rope. <laughs> I'm just joking. Naughty Dog g- games are usually usually pretty, pretty terrible. Really, really clean. Good story. Pretty clean. janky gameplay. Okay, whatever. Uh... So that worries me, but from what I saw, from the little footage that I saw, it looks a lot more cleaner. Uh, looks like there's v- good visuals. Looks like they're putting money behind it, so I'm excited for it. I think it'll be pretty cool. So, I don't know. Harry Potter. I I really love Harry Potter. <laughs> I like this is like a movie that I see like every year, and I'm getting into the book. So I don't know why <laughs> I just do. So, anyways, so I'm excited for a little Harry Potter universe land. I haven't even watched all the movies yet. Oh. That makes me want another Lord of the Rings game. Oh, there we go. See, I the, could get behind but that. But guys, but we already got good ones done by the Batman dudes. But they're not Lord of the Rings. Lord I want a current ones. gen one. Yeah, well, you like do the Shadows, Shadows of Mordor. Of Mordor. Nah, I, I haven't. Want... I haven't actually played those games, but I hear they're fun. It's fun if if that's what you're looking they're repetitive. for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I feel like repetitive in a good way. In sometimes a good way. I feel like it'd be cool to have a Lord of the Rings. I enjoyed it. Shut up. <laughs> oh man, you hate you hate every game. He hates good games. Lord of the Rings. Climb up to the tower. Look at all the side Okay, quests, hey, listen. <laughs> what quests, game are you talking about right now? Every every game. single <laughs> Ubisoft game. Every game in general. Lord of the Rings, I think that'd be cool if they actually used people that we cared about. You know, it'd be cool to have a game that actually had... There were some good Lord of the Rings games, like those Two Towers and Return of the Kings, but those were, like, good, good games. I'd oh, like to see. I want a good hack and slash. Follow the story of the yeah, books Yeah, follow game. the way through. Uh, and level books, up you kind mean of the stuff. Cimmerillion. <laughs> Damn, no, we're getting nerdy. All the good stories. I, uh... Yeah, I didn't read that. But I read the other ones, and man, it's like reading a history book. And I think the Cimmerillion's probably even oh, it's, more uh, history than I that, I want right? The Hobbit. The, the Hobbit's The Hobbit book. cartoon. Do you remember yeah. the Hobbit video game? <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, that was On terrible. Xbox? Oh, yeah. dude. No. Throwing on rocks at people? Like, what uh, is going dude. on that in this game? So fun. That game sucked. Uh, <laughs> Red Dead showed some new footage. Uh, it was mostly kind of story stuff with a mix of, like, what you can do kind of thing did you guys see that new trailer are you guys convinced already i'm convinced i was gonna buy it anyway i was like you got me convinced i don't need more you got me convinced i read dead yeah i'm like what another sequel okay and i'm I'm still sitting on the fence about it and then releasing more information just annoys me and makes me go the other way (laughs) so sawyer Horse parts. Horse parts. So I remember last details. time you said you were fine with the details that you were interested world. in. That's the part that interested me now that they're like, oh, well, here's more gameplay. And I'm like, uh, okay, oh, maybe dude. this isn't Oh, my game. dude. So basically, there's just more of the, like, you know, stab your, don't stab your hand games, card games. Uh, it looked like the story was a little more fluid, like it, and l- less like. Like, the moment-to-moment story stuff kind of, like, went into each other. I don't know how to explain yeah. that. Rather than, like, oh, press this button, and then the story will happen. Does that make sense? So it seemed like, oh, it's happening, you know. Uh, showed more of the Deadeye system. I don't know how I feel about that it always system. Made, it made that game too easy. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that system. I love it, but I hate it. It's, yeah. like, it's almost like it's a win scenario always. Like, all you have to do is point, and you win. So it was kind of a, I don't know. <laughs> but at the same time. I don't know how time, I feel about it. Lining up seven shots and just killing seven people. Was cool. In virtual world. Yeah, it was cool. Virtual world. Well, yeah, let's remember that. <laughs> let's remember. <laughs> but that was cool. But I feel like the other stuff, uh, it, it does, it is way too easy. Yeah. It is way too easy. And that is, that's the bummer for me. So I, I don't know how you would even improve that. Or make it different. Yeah. They changed it a little bit where you can see their vital organs, but I'm like, what's the point of that? Shoot them in the head? I, I believe, I their vital I believe we're okay. So they stole it from that sniper game? Well, and from Tomb Raider, where and you can see the Hitman? animal's organs. Wait, right? Hitman does that now, too? Does it, it, I, I don't know. I haven't played a Hitman game, game forever. But yeah, yeah the sniper game. Yeah. Anyway, so it looks good. It, it didn't convince me either way. It, it was more of the same. So... If you're inter- interested, you already know you're going to buy it. Uh, so that's all of our stories. That's it. We made it. Woo. 
gentlemen. Bravo. Ooh. Bravo. You feeling good? Feeling that sweat? You getting that sweat on? We are now going to do top 10 and 30. Everyone's favorite game of all time. This list will be done by Max today. And Everyone's we'll... favorite game. We already did that one, son. Well, this is it. This is the game. Oh. You see what you uh, Now I'm stupid. <laughs> yeah, you uh, are. I thought you were done, but no, I'm an idiot. We got a chance. <laughs> we got a chance now. All right, Max, what's the list? So the list is in the top, well, it's more than top 10, but best villains in video games. All right, so how this goes, Max will, we, me and Soy, will ask some questions that are yes, no. Max will say yes or no. <laughs> and then uh, we have 30 questions to get there. If we don't get there, we fail. We're trying to get all 10. There you go. And it is the villains, right? Top 10 villains. And they are villains. Of all time. In video games, mind you. Not necessarily the most villainous. Just villains. Yeah, just top 10. Just by know. popularity, I assume. I... Okay. How are we going to do this? Do you want to go first? Yeah. <sighs> You go first. You're closer to Max. Max, what number is GLaDOS on the list? That a boy. That a, you sexy beast. <laughs> that is not a yes or no question. <laughs> My good sir. Is, is Glad GLaDOS on the list? <laughs> yes. GLaDOS number is... Number one, give it to her. Numero uno. Yeah, she is. Number one. That, that is the best villain. You Sadistic are, robot. You are great. Hey, have I told you how great you are? Man. <laughs> I don't, on, I, say, one, I don't think I say it. You enough. got one next on this uh, tip. Sephiroth? Is that Sephiroth? Is Sephiroth on the list? On the list. He is not. How is on he the top on 10 the list? list? Oh. Yeah, that's. That is strange. <clears throat> I, but this right? Was... I mean, that is strange. I'd never played that game, but that is strange. Devin? Okay. What is the villain in Far Cry's three names? Or three's name. Oh, I don't know, dude. I never played the Fire Cry games. Man, I loved that game. But that guy w would be a good villain because people do talk about him. He was great. The guy with the purple suit? Is that who it no, is? No, the purple suit's Far Cry 4. The crazy Pan Min. Pan The crazy. Either, um, either one I heard was is, good. Is the villain from Far Cry any Far Cry Wait, game? Well, should we just do shooters first? Should we say is there oh, villains from shooters? Is... I don't think he's going to be There's going to be quite a few there. from shooters, though. Do you think so? Yeah. This uh, first he's... person shooter. First person shooter. <sighs> There's gonna be a few. All right, just do your thing. Fine. Do you, listen, Is do there you... any first person shooter villains on the list? Yes. Okay. Told you. <laughs> so. I mean, we you can think it's a Far Cry. Too. You can think it's a Far Cry guy, right? It could be a Halo villain. What would be a good yeah, Halo but who's villain? the Halo villain? Are, are, can the villains be more than, can they? Like a group of people yeah, instead of. Are villains. Wait, is this, does this count as a question? Because this is like along the group of, or along. This is question four. So you yeah. Can, is this, I want to shit. Counts yeah. as a question. Okay, here's the question. Sean Connery coming are, at you. <laughs> are villains. What are all the villains on this list a single person? Yes. I feel like we should have that that should have been in the definition of yeah. the list and you know, Max is a Max is a hard hitter, you know. <laughs> that's okay. Fine. Question No, no, that's fine. <laughs> no, because now you guys are no, complaining about no, no, it. <laughs> this guy's I'm fine. Five? Five. Is there a Far Cry game on the list? A Far Cry game villain on the list? Yes. I told you it's him. Now we need to know his name. <laughs> Number three. <laughs> Max, since we do not know the name, can we just say, yeah, is the villain from Far Cry 3? Yes, the villain from Far Cry 3... Is number seven, Vas Montenegro. Okay. I, I'm good at this That's a one. good one. That's I got good two one. now. I don't know. Sephiroth didn't go on the <laughs> list, but Far Cry guy made Well, it. I mean, you could keep going Nintendo-wise. Oh, Bowser, right? He's got to be. Ganon. Question number six. Uh, have you gone? Right? Yeah, that was mine. Bowser on the list? Bowser is number two okay. on the list. Ganondorf has got to be on there. Or question. Yeah, what's that for all? What question seven? Is there any more Nintendo franchise villains? Yes. Yeah, he's on there. Yeah, he's got to be. On there. 
There's no one better than Ganondorf after Bowser. It's going to be Navi. Yeah. <laughs> You're wrong. It's not Ganondorf. It's Ganon. <laughs> it is, isn't it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Stupid shiz. Well, you haven't asked a question yet, have you? Yeah, go ahead. But it's your no, turn, isn't no, it? No, it's yours. You, he did you a... Ask is it. Ganon the villain? Yes, okay. Ganon from... Uh, and it just the, when he it turns to. into the pig... <laughs> um, Ganon from Legend of uh, Breath of Wild. From Breath of Wild. Legend of Breath of the Wild. Yeah. The dark. I, d- I don't the know why they one? why they didn't just go like the pig Ganon. Just Ganon yeah. in general. But they went Ganon in the general world. is yeah. yeah but okay. I'm like why? Because he's way cooler than other ones. Okay, yeah. Let's see here. What other good like franchises have him? How many? Villain? How many are we on? Um, we got. So this is you were eight. Glados. Ganon. Gladys, Bowser, Ganon, and, and Voss. Voss. I think we're on, is this question 10? 10. 10, yeah. Okay. We're doing good. Four? Yeah. Yeah, okay. we're almost halfway there. All right. <laughs> this is um, where it's going to probably get probably a bit harder. Any other Nintendo villains on the list? Um, let me double check. I, we got I don't Bowser know. Bowser and to, Ganon. To draw Can't, be. Can't be. When else there, would there be? I don't know, King Karul, no. <laughs> Donkey Kong. I don't think I anyone don't think cares he... about those. Daddy Kong? <laughs> he should not be Nintendo. You're double checking. I'm double checking. Which I... means there's one that is like an old Nintendo, it's like an old it Nintendo game. It's an old Nintendo I'm game. I'm pretty sure it's not. But I'm just like, I never actually played this one. This is why I asked this one. I don't have any other franchises that have a huge villain that's renowned. Diablo. All the villains I can think of are like groups, like the Flood. And oh yeah, I I knew this was old. Okay, yeah, no, no more Nintendo. Okay, so it's an older game. I mean, older villains cast Dracula. Dracula. In Castlevania. Is that... Do we want to... Question 11? Do we want to go that specific with it? I think so. I mean, he's the... It's an old video game. Okay, so, because I've already offered it, there's only one that's, like, a bit older that I had to look up because I wasn't sure what. Okay. That could be it. And the confusion of it being on Nintendo? Yeah. Possibly? Exactly. It's pre... <laughs> Oh, okay, maybe not. <laughs> it's pre Dracula. He's pretty old. What about what? What are those paddles called in Pong? <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> definitely deserves to Nintendo uh, villain. Dude, I don't know if we're even gonna get. There's there. no more Nintendo yeah, villains. Yeah, no more Nintendo. Oh well, I know, but an old school villain. Yeah, but what about like oh Doctor? How about Doctor Robotnik? Ooh, from Sonic. He would know it was a Nintendo one, didn't he? he that's knows Sega. It. He knows it's that's, Sega. Yeah, that's, yeah, I know. That's Sega. Yeah, that's he not would, even a question would, on that one. Does he even know it, that? Mm-hmm. How do we... We need to narrow it. Narrow it down a little bit. Let's stick with your gut. I mean, Dr. Robotnik and Dracula are good picks. <laughs> <laughs> I like how those are on the same playing field. They are! For some people, Dracula is like the deal, or me- or even Metroid. Yeah, but, but that's what's a Nintendo an game. Evil Metroid. Well, Metroid is kind Metroid of evil. It, yeah, Metroid. Except for the, the little, mother, Metroid. The mother is. Yeah. Um, is it my turn? Yeah, yeah. This should be question eleven. Okay, so I believe. Are there any more first-person shooters on the list? Yes. Okay. The guy from Val, um, from Half Life, uh, like the mysterious guy, is he a villain that like pops in and out? Okay, Mr. I, Gordon, I don't really classify him as villain. No, he's just kind of like a narrator almost. Uh, what about Doom, Doom. That is was... there like a major villain in Doom? My. Uh... Like Satan and Diablo. See, I was thinking Diablo because like the Diablo franchise, Diablo. Yeah. 
But I mean, like Diablo is famous, and he's the main villain, right? Well, I was thinking Blizzard games are just chock full of them in general. All right, let's go Blizzard. You want to try that? Are there any Blizzard villains on the list? There are no Blizzard. I'm villains. sorry. Every time we do Blizzard crap, it always <laughs> goes wrong. Yeah, but Blizzard is like full of them. Yeah, you would think, but every time what about every we do quest? This, every time we do it, it goes every quest wrong. got it. <laughs> Before you start narrowing games, why don't you just say, are there any MMOs or something like that? I mean, I wouldn't use that question if I were you guys, but. Well, we know there's got to be RPGs, right? Mass Effect, what's the villain of Mass Effect? I can tell you. The first dude's the, the blue one. What's the main nasty thing with the tentacles called? <sighs> Hentai? The I stupid things that are coming down. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the buzzer? <laughs> Is that wrong? <laughs> no, it's just what he said. He, we need to delete that out. That gets edited. <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> you probably just don't know what it is. <laughs> he was thinking too hard. <laughs> <laughs> I was. I was like, man. The stupid man, apparently. <clears throat> are there RPG RPGs on the list? Um, No. Besides Ganon. Really? No RPGs? And that's not almost. really an RPG, but... What? Yeah, but there's first-person shooters. So they're all first-person shooters? Um, who's the, Let's see. Gears of War, any major villain? No. <laughs> the Halo, there's not any really major villain. The Prophet. Would it be the Prophet? The Prophets? Question 14. You want to try it? I mean, I can't even think of any others. What other what other third or first person shooters has a major villain in it? I mean, Hitler is in a lot of war games. <laughs> it's true. Is Hitler on the list? <laughs> what? He's not on the list, Mexico? The worst villain of all time. In real life. <laughs> the worst villain of all time. Perhaps. Even though Stalin was probably... Yeah. Was just, yeah. He did bad. Cons it, was up all, there. It, was all, yeah. it was all bad. They were, there okay, was a lot um, of bad people. I mean, Hitler's not... I'll give you a hint. He's not far off. So there is a terrorist Mech, on the Mecha list. Mecha Hitler is on there. <laughs> from, game from is... Wolfenstein 2. There's a robot Hitler that you fight. From Wolfenstein. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Hitler's not far off. That's the hint. <laughs> but they're all villains. I mean, they're all going to be Hitler. thought was close. Mecha Hitler was close. <laughs> war war criminals. War games. <laughs> you just take it and run it in the wrong direction. <laughs> How are we close? So think of robot Hitler, robot Stalin. <laughs> oh, man. Robot Mussolini. We are dying. My- <laughs> We are well, dying here. No, it's still because it's still question fourteen. Yeah, we're and you guys are like almost half. <laughs> yeah, but dude, now we're at the, we we've given now it we're all. Thinking of Mecca, Hitler. We've given it all. You know, <laughs> you had uh, I'll tell you, you had the game. You've had two. We had two games, Halo. So it's gonna be Halo is not on the fr- Call of Duty. <laughs> Wolfenstein, Doom, Wolfenstein, Diablo. No, Diablo's, Diablo's Blizzard. Blizzard. Oh yeah, Doom. but is there Diablo and or Satan and Doom? <sighs> What is the villain of Doom? I don't know. I, yeah. There I, is no villain in Doom. Man. Martians? <laughs> Satan Martians? Uh, I just love how close you guys are. Wait, wait. And did, you just go. <laughs> was there a Sanic one? Go in the wrong he direction. Said, you said you named a game. It could be Sanic. Dude, Dr. Robotnik is the shiz. Let's just do it. Is Dr. Robotnik on the list? He is number... 11. Dang it. Uh, <laughs> tell me. Number nine. Thank Woo! you. Number nine. Good job, Dr. Dude. Robotnik. We're halfway there. So he would have definitely <laughs> known that that was a Sega game. That's the older game. You would have known that wasn't on Nintendo, though, right? It wasn't a Nintendo game? Yeah. That's so why cool. was he having an issue with the Nintendo He question? was looking up a game to see if it was Nintendo. I know. Or where it, where it came from. Yeah. If it, so, Sega wasn't Dude, Dracula that. might be on there still. That's what I'm saying. Castle, but he said there was only one older game. Well, there's been recent Sonic, so. Oh. Uh, this game nah. is something. Those that, don't count. Dracula, dude. It's Okay, then do it. Dracula? Question is Dracula. 15. Yeah, okay, is Dracula on the thingy? Dracula is not. 
Who else is on there? I'm just saying, hey, because we always lose track. Of what no, you're doing we're a good on, job. So you're doing like, a great job. Yeah. Question 16. You actually, I, get it. I just, don't I can't count, even remember. So, so. <laughs> that's wanna, that's like 30 ish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're on 45, but it's about 30. You st- we're still not there. <laughs> Dracula. Okay, it's mm. not on it. Darn it. An older game villain. And we've got four more. This no, be... sorry, five more. We're halfway through. This is gonna, and there's also first person shooters, and there's no RPGs. Like, what's another kind of platformers? Yeah, is there your turn, right? Yeah, question sixteen. <sighs> Are there any platformers on the list? Um, not that we haven't already answered. No, right here. <laughs> We're still stuck to first person shooters. What is this old game? Don't focus on that because it's like ridiculously hard. Zork. <laughs> God, it's gonna be like something really annoying. Oh, I know what it is. I know one. I know one. I know one. 17. I know one. Um, System Shock. Uh, the <laughs> villain in System Shock that was borrowed by Glados. I don't know what her name is. She has tentacles for hair. That is that person on there. Wait, who's is this? Seventeen? I think so. Yes, the name is Shodan. Yes, the ship's AI from System Shock. Yes, you are welcome. And I'll go. I'll I go would have never got that one. I'll go so home that was now. number ten. I'll go home now. That was what? number ten. Yeah, it was that? Yes. Bioshock. I, Bioshock. Uh, so question eighteen. Bioshock. The villain in Bioshock is. I don't remember. What is his name? And I've given you like two where you haven't guessed the name, so the next one, you've got to guess the names. Oh, uh, dude. Bioshock's villain. He's the villain, isn't it? He? Like, you are the villain. M- Mr. Ryan. Ryan. Something Question. Ryan. I never finished the. His name is Ryan, so you can ask. Is Question Ryan 20. on this list? Is Andrew Ryan. Handsome Jack. <laughs> What are you trying to ruin this? Borderlands, <laughs> man. It's Andrew Ryan, I guarantee it. Is Andrew Ryan on the list? For question twenty, Andrew Ryan is number six on the list. You you are just Did watch Handsome Jack be on the list. Would you kindly Yep. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> now I'm thinking Kotor. It's question an RPG, 21. but that would have been a good one. The villain being you R- Raven. Or ra- Red Dark, Revan. Dark Revan. Darth, Darth Revan. Revan. That would have been a good one. Dark Raven. What is this? <laughs> Sorry. By I, Odin's I, beard. I, Dark I, Raven. I got X Men on the brain. <laughs> or, or DC Comics Raven. I think we should see if we can narrow it down again a little bit. Okay, so we're on question 21, and we've got four left. So we got. How is there more? Is there more FPS games? Dude, I'm telling you, Handsome Jack. You really think Handsome Jack? Max is saying no. <laughs> oh, I did not say a word. I really shaking his head. Yeah. I do want. I love Borderlands, and he's a great villain. I want y'all. He was a crappy villain. He was great. <sighs> he's forgettable. No, he's not. How come I remember him and not Andrew Ryan? <laughs> because you're you, opposite of everybody you else. Don't know what a good game is. You hate what's, Team supposed, Rocket. To, you hate what's supposed to be love and love <laughs> what's supposed to be RPG. RPG. I know, I know, but that's not that a That is bad Nintendo. God, man. Giovanni. Giovanni. Maybe lots of Pokemon enemies. Yeah, like All anybody right. remembers right. Giovanni right. ever. I do. We got I you there. apparently did. I know who Giovanni is, but <laughs> as think? a villain, he's not very memorable. That's why Team Rocket. So how, what, how many have we got? We got six or seven? We're seven. at six. Six? No, we got Andrew Ryan, there, right? System Shock Girl, Voss, Bowser, Bowser Ganon, yeah, Ganon. One, Glados, two, Glados, three, three more. Okay, Should we so ask we are if it's seven. another shooter? Sure, because it does help. Is it my turn? Yeah, your turn. Your... Did you ask Andrew Ryan? Was that the last one we asked? Yeah, yes. So, but then did you not ask twenty one? No. Oh, oh well, yeah. whatever. We'll do this as 21. Shooter. Shooters anymore? First person shooters on the list. Are you sure you just want to say first person shooters? Yes. Because <laughs> you just gave it away. 
there, <laughs> yeah. Are there? Any... There are more shooters on the list, For, but any more first, first person? person yes. Yeah. I was trying to give you another hint. So there's a shooter and there's a first person shooter. Yeah, but we needed to know that there's more first person shooters to know where we to go down. So well, there is. Question. There, there is. Yeah, there is another. <laughs> there, I'm telling you, handsome Jack is on this. Dude, He's a he, memorable villain. I, Question I, 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 I will go make him it. on okay, this go list. For it. Try Question it. 22. Ruin it for Ruin us. What else you got? Nothing, so just go for what it. About, uh, Star it for what about Star Wars Galactic it. Commando? Yeah, that's who it is. <laughs> Darth Vader. <laughs> it's just the stupid green creatures that you shot. The Genovians or whatever those dumb, stupid <laughs> insects were from that. Man, leave the Genovians alone. Good heck, that game. Or what, movie. what game? The, the Galactic the, Commando. Galactic Commando. It was the first person uh, Star Wars game. That was great. And he shot I all the it. bugs. Yeah, the, I never the played it. Dude, there's They're another good. war game on They're there, good. though. Yeah. And we got to know the big. There is another war game on there. Dude, it's got to be Call of Duty Modern Warfare. <laughs> okay. Who's the villain? Who's the villain? I just remember Soap's There was the good a guy. Russian guy. Who cares? You shot his Moscow arm. Off. Who gives a crap? <laughs> those guys were the most boring villains. <laughs> yeah, but people are obsessed with it. Black Ops. There was probably a good villain in Black Ops. Done, no. done by the Nicaraguan dude. Why are you doing the Hitler thing? Because he's telling. Is, is it Mecha Hitler? <laughs> it might be Mecha Hitler. I mean, you, just Hitler. You can, you can just... guess Mecha Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> I would love for, for this to go out on the airwaves, being like Mecha Hitler, it's <laughs> coming at you. <laughs> he transforms. <laughs> so Hitler. He was a transformer now. <laughs> So we could just say Hitler, right? Decepticons unite, Mecha Hitler. Because Hitler's in everything. Twenty-two, twenty-two. Do you want to try Hitler? I mean, it's so on the nose, but you can is, do it. Is Hitler on the list? Hitler is not on the list. Well, someone made a boo boo, didn't they? Someone made a real boo boo. Yeah, what kind of list is when this? When the fake robots on there the list. There is a Nazi on the list. There's one Nazi. Who the on crap the list. is a Nazi? That's not Hitler. That way, everyone this is knows. This pissing me off. There's a shooter with a Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> Wolfenstein. <laughs> Mexico. <laughs> how do, okay, how do we like narrow a shooter Nazi? <laughs> how do we narrow that? It's gonna be. What's the dude from Wolfenstein? Is there a main villain? But he's a good guy. Blaskowitz is the good guy. The Nazi. Oh, there is a bad Nazi girl in there. There's a lot of bad Nazis in there. In the last <laughs> game, that was a good villain. I don't know her name. Nazi girl. <laughs> Max, there this is, is no listen, no, no, listen is to me. I, listen, I know you get. I know it's hard. <laughs> listen, you got to remember names, okay? <laughs> that's just called that's being not polite. The rule. Listen, <laughs> that's called being a listen, good human. When you see somebody, I will, like, I will hey, describe her perfectly. These are you. villains. We're not good humans to she villains. She is has curly blonde hair, wrinkly face. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like her I'd grandma. Say mid fifties. She is the evilest person ever. Uh, I don't know her name. Is that person on this <laughs> list? Wolfenstein for question to number New Colossus. Okay, I'll take that. Question number 23. Yeah. Yes. Frau Engel. Frau Engel. See, so you named is, it. Is There's number, your Nazi. It's <laughs> number three on the list. She, she is evil. She <laughs> is evil. <laughs> She'll convince you. Okay. Definitely. We got two game. more villains to name. Well, how we're doing good. Dude. We got the first person okay. shooter. In so we, question 24. Four. So, Six for two. This is going to be rough, though. Okay, we, we know got one's a shooter. a shooter. We got the Nazi out. We might be done with the <laughs> FPSs. So, shooter. Maybe narrow it by genre. That would be a, a good... We did. We got shooter. <laughs> How do we narrow it even further? Uh, so, there's no RPGs. No platformers. Okay, when I say shooter, I mean they're, the combat is with guns. But there are other elements to these games. To these final two. <sighs> So they both have guns. So it's like shooters so not bad the guy only in genre. It's zombie. <laughs> so, but if I when we said RPG, <laughs> would there be RPG elements within these There's games? RPG elements in every game now. Well, yeah. Not really. But no? They're just shooters. So how do we narrow the genre? I know. How would we narrow? The asteroids from Asteroid. <laughs> <laughs> 
the aliens the, the from okay, maybe, maybe shooting Z. not the, the, the strongest, like, uh, how do I, I do, like, how would you? So genres, there are RPGs, first person shooters, third person, third shooters. person shooters, uh, uh, bullet hells. Yeah, there's, um, what month is it? Fighting brawlers. October. Yeah. So it's a suspense game. Halloween. <sighs> or games you two don't play. Games we don't play. Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> <laughs> the horror. I'll oh, just give you. Horror. Are they both horror? God, we're so dumb. Both. Why are we not thinking of horror games? So I was like, it's a shooter, but that's not like the yeah. main genre. Resident Next Evil. Next given a lot to us. Yeah, Resident Evil. Um, is the Resident Evil There are so there? many Resident <laughs> Evil characters. <laughs> Mexico. <laughs> But there's should, one. Should we just say, is there a res? Is Resident Evil on the list? Yes. Yeah. There, there is one supreme Resident <laughs> Evil. I will tell you, there is one. That's the leader in, of the Umbrella Corp. Nemesis. That's Nemesis, right? In all I the games. I remember. All the games. I've he has some. There's a there's a bl- small part. There's a blonde guy. There's part. a blonde villain that is in Resident Evil Five. He turns. He has that creepy arm, and you have to shoot him with not Resident Evil Five. Yeah, Resident Evil Five. Isn't that the boyfriend? You fall on the volcano, and you have to shoot him with a rocket. I don't know. I know who I know who this villain is, Mexico. I don't know his name. Is blonde rocket guy <laughs> on the list? I don't know who blonde rocket guy is. <laughs> yes, you do. Blonde guy, you rocket off the Number top of the cliff. And... At the end of Resident Evil Five, the bad one with the in Africa. Whose question is it? Mine. He is. So 26. He said blonde rocket guy. The blonde rocket guy. Is you he off blonde the volcano? and white and medium, <laughs> medium height? Soy, what's your question? Blue eyes. <laughs> is that guy on the list? <laughs> Which guy? <laughs> the blonde guy. The bad guy in Resident That's Evil. <laughs> How do we know? <laughs> they have the worst names. Ed? <laughs> Davey? <laughs> Shit, I don't know. <clears throat> I'll tell you this. So in Resident Evil 1, Let's he see. is like a faux good guy. Like you don't know he's the villain. But then it's I've revealed. I've that one forever. Then it's I have revealed the, that I he's that the villain. Well as eight and he is life. the villain that drives pretty much everything. Edgar. Come on, you got a good name. Uh, Shares it with a very, very um, smart man who helped build the atom bomb in World War II. Come on, Sly. Who's that? I can't <laughs> Shares a name. First name. I can't remember. Isaac. Isaac. Who built the atom bomb? <laughs> Sir Isaac Newton? I don't know. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? I don't know. I'm following you with this? Wait, no. No, you're not. Yeah. I've never played the freaking games all the way through. You can't come I with the nuclear bomb guy. A no. German expat who was also Jewish. I know. I can't even remember that dude's name now. Well, that, now that Einstein. I'm in the moment, I can't remember it. It's not Einstein. Is it Einstein? What was that? his first name? Einstein. Albert. <laughs> Albert. <laughs> Albert. Pacino. <laughs> I can't remember his last name. Albert Al- Umbrella Man. Mix. Is he blonde? <laughs> is blonde Albert on the list? <laughs> I hate you guys. Dude, he's in the Resident <laughs> Evil 5. He gets up an arm and he gets mutated and you shoot him in the helicopter with a rocket launcher. <laughs> you guys are... Ter- I don't know why He's not in Resident Evil 4. <clears throat> he isn't. Blonde Albert Man is on the list. <laughs> I believe he's mentioned in four. Um, fine, I will. Let me let me see the picture. I will give it to you. No, no you can't see the picture. <laughs> yeah, that's him. Yeah, Blonde Albert Man. That's see him. him. <laughs> I know. But he has an eye patch 20, on. For question twenty six, I will give it to no. you. You greedy monkeys. <laughs> what was his name? Albert Wesker. Wesker, dang it! I, I knew it was Wesker. He's I like, wouldn't get that. He's in. Ever. I Almost can't. like every I knew Resident it was Evil Wesker. I didn't extent. know his name was Albert at first because they always call him Wesker, don't they? Yeah, they refer to him as they Wesker. normally just Wesker. 
Oh my gosh, that was horrible. That was like <laughs> so qu- squeezing the Okay, now is the other game a shooter still? Utter. Is it a horror game? Yeah, it's another horror game. Silent Hill series. What? Pyramid Head. Pyramid Head. Mm, Question 27. Pyramid Head. Are they going to <laughs> ask the right question? <laughs> is... Sorry for shouting. Yeah, sorry, people. Your poor ears. <laughs> is Pyramid Head on the list? Oh, thank the good Lord. You f- we You're welcome. It. Pyramid oh, Head. Give me a break. Hey, is number finally eight. Finally, you I give got me blonde one Albert on the man. list. Yeah, yeah. Because I said it. <laughs> because I gave you it. I gave you half of the things. I gave you half of them. This guy? You gave me the easier one. Bowser? You gave her Bowser. <laughs> okay, Bowser? you. And GLaDOS? Who would have gotten sure? I got boss from System Shock. See, that's what I'm saying. You would have been now. I got boss, and you said it wouldn't have been him. I'm just saying. He is a crazy. <laughs> if, you, if you were on Mexican's team, you would not. Mexico would have got those weird ones. And yeah, I he would have, have got to worry those, about but it. he wouldn't have got the weird System Shock one. No one's played that here. I just know it because I'm weird. He got Whisker. <sighs> yeah, he would have got both of those, Wesker and Pyramid Head. <laughs> I got Pyramid Head. I don't need him to get Pyramid Head. I know. I just <laughs> Pyramid Head's cool. What a cool villain. He, we did it with a he, lot of help. He's, yeah, there he, he's creepy looking. <laughs> well, the darker because it's a human's depression in in the a monster form. Yeah. It's a kind of cool, cool little idea. Guys, we did that. We will be back. That took, I think, five questions. hours. So if you that actually the went there. <laughs> Sorry for all the names we don't know, but we got there. Thank you, Game Radar. Thanks for Mexico. For your for... crappy list that I... <laughs> did he put Hitler on it? <laughs> did he? Yeah, we missed that one. We got Frau Schneider on there, but we missed Hitler. Frau Engel. Yeah, well, guess what? Es tut mir leid. Guess what? Hitler was on the in that game. <laughs> Hitler wasn't on the list. Hitler was on the game. Yeah, but was he that? Yes. Involved in? Yeah, he's the reason that America's been conquered. <laughs> okay. Hitler. But did he have screen time? Yes. A lot of it. Some of it. Not as all of much it. as Frau Engel. Definitely not. But yeah. you saw him. But Frau but, Engel. But you was saw Hitler's her dirty work. Homie. Well, you didn't really see too much of what Hitler was actually doing, but you see what she's Hitler's doing. Hitler's responsible for her. All I'm saying is Hitler. <laughs> Hit us up with some deals. Uh, Gog is having a huge sell on all their games. And Gog. good old what? games for oh, okay for PC games. Oh, okay, okay. They're also giving away a free copy of Shadow Warrior 2. Okay. For today and tomorrow. <laughs> do, so. I, do we care? What is this? No. Okay. We don't care. It's it's free. But it's free. <laughs> but it's also by it's the time free this garbage. gets cool. online, it's not going to be free okay. anymore. So oh, that's fun. But they have tons of games like the Baldur's Gate games and like all the gold old ones. They yes. have like emulators to run on your computers for. Oh, okay. So oh, cool. They're doing some big sales right now. Any others? Uh, not really. There was something else. Don't remember it. New Egg's doing a sell on on something. Yeah. I just remember New Egg is okay. doing something. I feel like there was, well, there was some deals, but I don't know if PlayStation has any really. And I going think on there's right EA game sale going right now. And that's on sound, yeah. PlayStation. I think you're right. Yeah, that looked familiar. So, you guys can check those out. Uh, get some dealios. Uh, as far as reviews. I think we did. Did we do Forza last week? I don't think so. Maybe. It wasn't officially out yet, technically. Okay, well, <laughs> here we go again. If not, yeah, you'll get yeah. it again. Uh, Forza Horizon it. 4 got a 92 on Metacritic, so super good. Um, Gaming Age, uh, give it 100. I think it'd be easy to argue that this is the best Forza Horizon game yet. I've generally enjoyed the series more so than even more to for, uh, the original Forza's. And is no different for the fourth one. Uh, the lowest review is 80. And that's pretty good. Yeah. For the lowest review? That's, yeah. That's yeah. Ridiculous. That's like my highest review so. I give to games. And I think we did review this one before, but that's, that's okay. okay. Deal with uh, it. Astro Plus. Bot Rescue Mission on PlayStation 4 VR. That's a mouthful. Y'all. Now, get this. It's got a review score of 89. It is it is being compared to Super Mario 64 over the VR. Really? Yes. 
Oh my god. That's gosh. how good this game what? supposedly is. It's a platformer too. Just some random game. Wow, that's hmm. crazy. Astrobot Rescue Mission is an extremely fun, engaging game. This is 100%, by the way, by Gaming Age. Um, Di- this is a dynamite addition to the growing PSVR library. $40. It's an absolute bargain. Um, Destructoid gave it the lowest at 75 Astrobot Rescue Mission, like its titular hero, gets the job done. What does that mean? It means it gets, it gets, the, job it gets the job done, I guess. Eh, it's fine, I guess. <laughs> So if you want the, the job? so you're either getting a the job. it's a game or you're getting the next Super Mario sixty four. Don't know how VR. we don't know how we got that. If you got the VR set, so up if you for, got PSVR, get it. Yeah, Assassin's Creed Odyssey uh, came out. We got eighty four for that on Metacritic, so close to Max's score of an eight. Uh, 63 critics, or... Can you give it a nine? You will be giving it. He forced me to give it a nine. Yeah, originally he gave it an eight. I forced him to <laughs> nine. Peer pressure. Peer pressure. We all know. <laughs> we know how that works, y'all. I cave every time. <laughs> Games Radar uh, gave it 100. Perfect everything Origin, uh, Origins did and enhances them in every way. You never thought Assassin's Creed game could. Odyssey has it all. Uh, the lowest is 60, wow, from Digital Trends. Assassin's Creed Odyssey features a rich, lush world. <laughs> oh, this sounds like a bad review already. <laughs> Lessened by its repetitive activities. Though the main story is compelling and completing it requires you to participate in a massive amount of level grinding, though less than stellar side quests. There's plenty to do in the world, but a lot of it feels like busy work. So that's their, that's life. That's their issue. <laughs> that's their issue with that one. Uh, Mega Man 11 came out as well. Oh my. And it's got a Metacritic score of 82. Uh, so if you're into those games, there you go. Uh, the highest there, again, is 100 from Gaming Age. Man, those guys are just giving out. Mega Man 11 is truly a memorable experience and is one of Mega, Mega's finest adventures and is highly re- recommended. Uh, the lowest is 40 by Slant Magazine. But the game's most egregious wrong is its stiff controls, which are reminiscent of those of Mega Man 7, the worst title in the series. So, not great. Um, especially for Mega Man fans, but I hear it's okay. An average Mega Man game. Super Mario Party uh, is the lowest score on this list at 78. Ouch. Not horrible for a Mario Party game. 78 is still a good game. That's, that's decent. Um, it's That's got true. forty-three it's critics that reviewed it. Uh, the highest is not a hundred; it's a ninety by Cubed Three. The series had found its encore, and it's ready to keep dancing deep into the night. Super Mario Party is the essential Nintendo Switch release, a true return to form for the franchise that was at risk at going sk- stale. How much did Nintendo pay you to say that? The essential Switch for Yeah. <laughs> Come essential? On. No, it's not. Yeah, there's plenty more before that guy. It's probably the essential party game. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's what they you know, to say. Yeah. Unless you don't all have Mario Kart or other better party games. Uh, Vooks oh, gave it a 60. It's the game that tries too hard to please everyone. But at the end of the night, the party leaves the thing a bit flat. Watching people play this game, it looks like a Mario Party game. Yeah. Well, I was uh, going to say, that just sounded like a review of Nintendo. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Tries to please everyone and then falls a little <laughs> flat. Uh, it's, um, yeah, it looks fine. Mm. It looks kind of... Uh, it looks like Mario Party. Yeah. Which was never anything like, yeah, they're fun, they're but they're fun. not the super things, special. Yeah, the mini games are fun, but I feel like the board game itself, like who came up with the rules? Like, you just get stars for random stuff, and by the end, you're like, what in the heck? Why did they win? Anyways, whatever. So, that's it. We did it, guys. Thanks for uh, okay. listening to us if you and watching us, since we're on YouTube. Uh, if you guys liked what you heard and saw, leave a little comment. Like. If you hated the list that Mex presented, yell at him. If you think Hitler should be on it, go ahead. If you guys like what you saw, like, <laughs> hit that like button, subscribe, uh, and we will be back, be back next week. Thanks for listening. Bye. <laughs>